Hey guys, welcome back. So now I want to talk about the best way to get medals currently. I've done a video on this before. It's a little outdated now, so we're updating it. And with all the new straight and open bases, there's a lot of easy ways to get medals. And there's also league records now, which you can break and get the gems over here. You get the gems if you break the league record, and it happens at the end of the time frame. So if in 23 hours and 34 minutes I have you know, 8,500 medals, I will get 421 gems and my name will go up here and I'll be the new league record holder uh, which is cool because then everyone can star you and everyone can attack you so we'll take a look at what I'm talking about the best way to get medals is to actually farm the easy bases that are available out in the game a lot of people are making open bases or straight bases things like this so you see that there is nothing really in the base and he gives 94 medals, I believe it is. So to defeat him, it only takes about one minute, including all the load time and everything. Um, so I spam miles and cannons, some knights. It doesn't really matter what you bring. Uh, for spells, you're going to want to use DPS spells. So I have the wrong spells on here. But you'll see, you'll see that the base still dies fairly quickly. So the fight started about 20 seconds ago. It took about 20 seconds to get to the gates. We're still bringing out some more troops just for uh, you know quest purposes to get those achievements. And you'll see we'll win the fight in about 154. So about 35 seconds to fight or 40 seconds to fight. We have this load time here uh, that's about another 5 or 10 seconds. Again, the load screen right here. Then you get special offer things. So we'll go in and do it again, and we'll time this one a little bit better. We're going to put on the right spells. So in this account, we don't have high-level spells really unlocked. So we're going to put on Blizzard, Firestorm, and go like that. Hammer Strike. And you can also farm a decent amount of money this way. Um, you can see he's giving 100,000, 90,000, roughly to me. Uh, it varies how much money that the player will give you based on how strong you are comparatively to him. And if you have killed him 100 times or so, you will not get any loot, really. The game will realize that you're a lot stronger than him and that you can beat him you know, 100 times straight. So eventually you can't farm the same player over and over again. But you can get a decent amount of loot this way. So you can see we're going to beat his base a little bit quicker this time. About three or so seconds quicker. Which isn't that much of a difference. But when you're doing 50 of these fights to get medals, because you're trying to get you know 5,000 medals or 4,000 medals, those little seconds, they add up. So you collect farm. So this is going to be the third fight, and we're already going to now have achieved about 300 medals. So the timer starts off at 2.38, and we finish the fight around 2 minutes. So it would be about a 38 second fight time. And then with the load times, I round up to about a minute. So you can get 94 medals every minute fighting an open base, roughly. You might not be able to find um, an open base that is that easy. So maybe it'll take you a minute and 15 or a minute and 20 seconds. It's still, it's a very, very fast way to get medals. And you can find these open bases by joining the, the Royal Revolt groups on Facebook. There's a lot of groups on Facebook that have, you know, people that are opening their bases and giving out pretty much free attacks. Um, so you can go there and you can find people that have their bases available for attack. Or if you ever do find someone that has an open, easyish base, you can just start farming him. Because once people actually know, like this video here, people are, are going to see, you know, his name and they're going to know, oh, I can farm him. So it'll be a lot harder 
to actually find him when he's not online because other people are going to be attacking him. When other people are attacking him, it says that he's online. So you cannot attack him. So that's why with these type of things, you don't really want to, you know, let it be known that he's an open base, that you're farming him, because you want to continuously farm him for the next, you know, hour or two and get a whole bunch of medals and win the tournament or possibly start your league record. So, you know, finding these and then kind of keeping them secretive and hidden is ideally the best situation. Um, but you can't always do that because especially if you're finding someone from the forms, um, then, you know, it's out there. The whole world, the whole form people, they know uh, they can go farm him. But not everyone is going to go farm him. Not everyone is going to be playing at the same time. So there are several bases available. You just have to go and, you know, look for them. And that's the fastest and most efficient way to get medals. You may think that, oh, I can go fight someone that's going to give me 200 to 300 medals. You can, but those fights are going to take you three minutes to get through. And so you would have to 100% the person every time and, you know, not die. No scrolls, no nothing. And it would also be a lot more stressful like this. I can do by you know, uh, walking on the treadmill, watching TV, watching a movie, um, you know, making a video, doing other things, I can farm this person and not really have to think at all about what I'm doing and get the medals. So we'll take a look here. We should probably have around 500 medals or so. And yeah, we have about 500 medals. We're in first place. So happy there. And you can see that was super, super easy. Um, the tournament just started 20 some odd minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, and we already have 500. We're in first place. Um, you know, that was quick. That only took us less than seven minutes to do this video. So you can see that is the most fastest, efficient way to actually get medals. So make sure you join the Facebook groups for Royal Revolt 2. Uh, there's a lot of them out there. Very helpful people, very nice. Um, you know, we also have a Facebook group. I'll put the link down below uh, for our like official Facebook group for the you know YouTube videos with a lot of high-level players in there. So you can pick their brains and you can ask them questions about you know what to upgrade, how to attack, things like that. And they'll definitely you know give you some advice on what to buy in the shop, how to attack, what units to use, uh, because there's a lot of strategy involved in the game. And if you do want to get better, uh, definitely join the groups, ask questions and you know get connected to the community and start you know start enjoying the game more